Hello, I'm Marcus Trufant, and thank you for joining me for another episode of History of the Blacks. Throughout history, there have been trailblazers who had to blaze a path for others, but not all of them have had their stories told. There is always a first, but what about number two? Legendary Koblanasian golfer Tiger Woods has credited Charles Luther Sifford for paving the way for him. But who came after Charles? I'll tell you! It was Milton P. Walcott. For height folks on the PGA Tour were so shook by Charles's success that they gave Milton dimple-less balls and took all the bees off of his golf stick, which cut his career short. Margaret and Matilda Romania Peters. Margaret and Matilda? Are they black for real? Their last name is Romania Piteri Peters. I didn't even know black folks could have names like this. Why are you texting me to get back to the script? In all caps. That's very aggressive. I feel threatened. Whatever, man. After Margaret and Matilda Romania Peters wowed the crowd with their spectacular doubles play. The establishment was once again shook and the sisterly duo of Desiree and Claus Dia Washington felt the full blast of their sabotage. While preparing to qualify for the US Open at the local courts, Karen Trifle Lynn Hefner walked by and was so upset at the sight of seeing black women smack white balls off of the court she ordered her maid to run down the street and call the police. Her reason was that the sisters were causing quite a racket. Earl Francis Lloyd, Washington Capitals, Charles Henry Cooper, Boston Celtics, and Nathaniel Clifton, New York Knicks, were the first African-American players in the NBA. It would be a long time before any other players of color would pick up interest in and or play the sport of basket. Well, they're still being shitty to Bubba Wallace. So, we'll talk about that on the next episode of History of the Blacks. He had a clue, but no club, and no balls with dimples.